All right, so now that we know how the AE curve looks like, the next step is learning how this model works. Now, we've explained in the previous checkpoint that the equilibrium level of national income occurs when planned expenditures equal actual expenditures. Now, firms correctly anticipate how much goods and services are demanded in this situation, and they will produce only up to the point up to the point where they are demanded, so there are no unplanned increases or decreases in their spare stocks and inventories. Firms don't need to decrease production in the next time period, for example, to get rid of excess accumulated stock. But our graph only has one line on it at the moment, and there are no intersection points. So how can we find this equilibrium level? We clearly need to add one more line to the graph. This line must represent actual expenditure, the real amount of money spent. Recall that in section 1.3, we've established that national income equals national expenditure. Hence, the line that represents actual expenditure is an upward sloping line that cuts the graph at zero and forms a 45 degree angle with a x or y axis. At any point along this line, the corresponding x and y values, in other words, the expenditure and output, are exactly equal. And we label this line y equals to AE. The point at which this line intersects the line representing AE equals to C plus G plus I plus X minus M is the equilibrium level of national output.